What do you think of the current state of the Chicago Bears, Mike Singletary? Well, you know, um, from a distance, uh, I just think it's a matter of them uh, really taking uh, the defense and, and getting all that they can out of the defense. I think they've got uh, a defensive tackle. Uh, he's a little older now, but I still think he has a couple of great years in him. If they, you know, if he, if he ever lives up to that, uh, if, if he can play up to the level that three technique that they have, uh, if he can play up to the level that 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 he should, uh, he he would be all world. There'd be no there's no doubt in my mind, dominant guy. Uh, the middle linebacker I think is outstanding. Uh, those are the two guys that jump off. Uh, the chart for me that I think are really amazing players. The rest of them, uh, you know, I, I know they got a couple of pass rushers, uh, uh, Quentin, uh, uh, um, uh, but anyway, the guy coming off the edge, they got a couple of those guys, but um, those two guys, I really think, um, particularly the middle linebacker, if he can rise up to the level of leadership and uh, demand that uh, everybody is, is on deck and let's get ready to go. I think he can really take that, help take that team defense to another level. Did you hear last year when Aaron Rodgers scored against the Bears, he told the fans, I own you? Did you hear that one from last year, Mike? No, I didn't. Yeah. What would what would have happened if you were on the field and the quarterback of the Packers had done that, scored and screamed to the Soldier Field fans, I own you? What about that? What happened? You know, I, 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 in all honesty, I, I don't really know. I think if someone would have said that while we were playing, I, I would have, I would have been shocked. I, I would have thought something's wrong with this person it's because there were times in the game, Rich, that that I honestly looked at Richard Dent, Otis Wilson, uh, Wilbur Marshall, and asked them not to hit the quarterback anymore. I said, guys, don't, 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 don't hit the guy again. Just, just, just wrap him up. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Wait, 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 come on, man. Just just, just, just push him down. Uh, there were times that I had to say that. Come on. Really? Uh, oh, I'm, I, I kid you not. There are times I said, don't, don't hit him like that anymore. <laughs> just, just push him down. No, come on. I'm going to kill him. Oh, man. Come on, man. Mercy somewhere. He got a family somewhere. <laughs> uh, no, they're, they're, honestly, I, I, I kid you not. I would not lie to you. So out of just concern for humanity, you would tell your teammates not to abuse the opposing quarterback. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I guess Rodgers feels uh, he does have the numbers to back it up. It has been a Packers uh, heavy uh, uh, run here quite a bit against the Bears these days, Mike. You know, when you think about well, it. Hopefully they can they can do something about it. You know, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Time always tells the truth. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 